Web3 Entertainment Studio Toonstar to release NFT-backed TV series Space Junk. The animated show about trash collectors in space was written by Workaholics producer Dominic Russo and stars Napoleon Dynamite actor John Hatter. Web3 Entertainment Company Toonstar will soon release a new non-fungible token NFT-backed animated television show called Space Junk. The comedy series, A Story, about trash collectors in space, is written by Workaholics producer Dominic Russo and stars Napoleon Dynamite actor John Hatter and School of Rock actor Tony Cavallaro. Fans of the show will be able to mint space junk NFTs on the Theta blockchain, giving them an opportunity to engage with the project's intellectual property IP through building the show's narrative, creating characters, and participating in token holder-only experiences. John Adonacio, CEO and co-founder of Toonstar, told Coindesk that the model of space junk, as well as other Toonstar productions, helps break down traditional creator regimes that have existed for years in Hollywood. Our mission really is twofold. One is to create original entertainment IP using Web3 as a springboard and the other is giving opportunities to new and diverse creators that may not have had a chance to get something made, said Adonacio. Space Junk will also incorporate artificial intelligence into its content generation process. The show will feature a robot character named Welbeka that is fully AI generated and encourages fans to interact with her. It's really cool knowing that we have the inclusion of the audience and the community and having a little bit more of the interaction in terms of them really putting forth ideas, Hatter told Coindesk. I'm very curious to see how that will come about. Toonstar landed on the map in March 2022 after it released its show The Gimmicks with actress Mila Kunis, allowing token holders to help choose the direction of the show. In July, Toonstar partnered with retailer Hot Topic to release NFT link merchandise for the show. Space Junk NFTs will be available to Min on May 15, and the show will be available for streaming on May 19.